Hello guys and girls. In today's video, we're going to be talking about GW and their community program where they uh, give influencers new products for review. But you have to sign a pretty ghastly NDA to be part of said program. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk a little bit about that uh, but I'm going to actually read from a Facebook post that I put up uh, earlier. No, actually, it was yesterday evening, actually, as I uh, do this video now. Yesterday evening, I put the post up. And I'm just going to read off a little bit about what I think about GW and this particular policy. Uh, so here we go. So, okay, about a month ago, or so ago i sent an email to gw thinking how cool would it be to be sent products early for review as part of their community program well that idea has gone out the window you see gw require you to sign an nda or uh short for non-disclosure agreement um that's fair i i understand signing an nda gw don't want you leaking their uh new minis early fair enough uh, what's not fair about said NDA is they require you to only be positive about their products. So they're literally buying your integrity with plastic miniatures as payment. Um, uh, look, I love some of GW's mini, I really do. Uh, the law, the artwork, the design, and most importantly, the minis are generally amazing. Uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, however, they do come up short on occasion. Uh, for example, uh, let's talk about the good things. Like uh, recently, they brought us a new Horus Heresy box set called the Age of Darkness. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, beautiful miniatures, uh, plastic Spartan, an updated plastic Contemptor, which is way better than the old plastic Contemptor, which was absolutely trash, uh, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, uh, so if I was sent that box set, I'd be able to review it and say, this box set is phenomenal. But what if they was to send me their new ridge hauler and the trailer and at GW prices for the trailer and the ridge hauler, which I think looks good, don't get me wrong, I do think it looks good, is £110 for a truck and a trailer. Well, you can get a whole box set for what? Uh, uh flgs stores uh, about an extra 20 or 30 pounds you get a spartan you get a contemptor you get 40 tactical marines 10 terminators and two praetors a big rule book dice templates decals and all, all the gubbins that i've probably missed um, and it just doesn't make sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. It's crazy pricing. Uh, these are just my views. Your view, views may differ, and you may think that the ridge ruler and, and the trailer is fantastic. But if I was sent that for review, how would I be able to be authentic to my own personal opinions if their NDA is so strict? I just wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to be authentic and... Yeah, uh, have I put anything else? So, uh, yeah, I mean, I also put that I have been sent uh, products for review in the past by many different companies. Uh, could be uh, the Airbrush Company, could be Andrea Colors, Mig, Ammo, Vallejo, whoever it was over the course of 10 plus years. Uh, but I've always had the authenticity to be able to review a product and say whether I liked it or I disliked it. And to be honest, uh, if you look through my history, you'll see that, especially, uh, I think it was about three or four years ago, I sent a Pache Talon airbrush and I really didn't like it. And uh, I pretty much went to town on what I thought of the airbrush. Uh, people agreed with me and people disagreed with me on that uh, particular review. Uh, they said they liked the airbrush. They had the airbrush. Others said that they totally agreed with my um, lack of confidence in the brand and that particular product. But, yeah, uh, it's really important to know that going forward, I will not be signing GW's NDA in future, even though... Uh, 
Uh, I actually sent an email uh, in the first instance thinking how cool would it be uh, to review their miniatures not knowing the uh, depth of soul destroying if you will that what would occur if I signed that NDA uh, yeah and sorry about the background there guys yes I am apparently a birthday girl <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, not signing the NDA anytime soon and uh, you're going to see hopefully more videos on my channel and when you do see those videos on my channel know that uh, all my opinions as always will be honest and will be genuine. So uh, love to hear your guys thoughts on this one. Uh, pop a comment down below. Is your favourite YouTuber part of the NDA program? Do they get free minis sent to them? Uh, are you happy that that they've signed the NDA that um, GW uh, have put out? Are you not happy? Do you think that I'm just being a bit pedantic and I should maybe in future sign a GW NDA? Not that I will, but what's your opinions? Uh, you know, I really want to hear your thoughts, guys. And, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for taking your di time, dime out my day, time out of your day uh, to watch this video. And I'll catch you in the next one.